That's why I use this uh, kind of bag because I can really see my stuff. But mostly, there are instances that the swipe machine doesn't work. Welcome, welcome to, to our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger, Roger and Esme Vlogs. Vlogs. So, today's subject, how much is enough? Oh, okay. <laughs> Before we start, thank you so much for your support and your support on our channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. So, are we talking about money? <laughs> yes, of course. We're talking about money, guys. So some of you would think, um, of course, in, here in the Philippines, um, you would think that how much should I carry? Because, you know, the value of your money here is bigger. Absolutely. That would be one of their questions. Yes, right. that's the most common question. How much is enough? Am I carrying less? Yeah, and Am I carrying big? Also, first of all, they used to like pay, say for example, uh, buying groceries in the mall. They used to like pay using their cards, right? Yes. So most of you, if you go to your home country, you would pay mostly um, card. You just like click and then tap that's it yeah. here mostly we use cash yeah we use cash so most of you would think that oh am i caring too much is this like enough if i go um, shopping if i go groceries if i do this do that so you have a lot of things that you need to like to do um, especially for transportation so that's the reason why in our previous video we recommend you to have small bills and coins. Yes, even though it's uh, heavy, especially if you have coins in your wallet or pocket, so that would be a bit disturbing, right? Yeah. But here in the Philippines, that is really important because you can use that um, in transportation, like paying like small uh, things. Yes, so you can definitely just have a small bills which is one 100 or 50 peso but it depends on what is your purpose in going outside Correct. so say for example you want to go to the grocery and this is our recommendation guys this is the most popular bag here in the philippines and no we're not promoting anything <laughs> no we're not promoting this uh, kind of uh, bag but this is really helpful and useful when you are in the Philippines because just, you know, for security purposes yes. and to avoid uh, snatchers. Yeah, thieves. Thieves. So you can just put this uh, like this. In front. Yes. yes, in front of you. That's why I use this uh, kind of bag because I can really see my stuff, especially yes. the money and the cell phones. So yes. if you are here in the Philippines, you can definitely use this kind of uh, bag. bag. Yes. So Wait. it's handy or not like really uh, disturbing yeah. and heavy. Yes, and it can keep all your money intact, especially the coins. Because you know, when you walk and there's something jiggling on your, <laughs> in your pocket, it's yeah. quite disturbing, especially if it's heavy. Maybe you are wondering that uh, some Filipinos are having this kind of bag or even backpacks, like they put it in front of them. Yes. So just it's just that they are uh, cautious and um, for security purposes because they don't know, especially if you are in public places or areas, like, especially in big cities. Yes, it, especially if you're in huge crowds. So it's better for you to put the bag in front of you. Um, so we call that a man bag. So that's really popular right now. Right? Yes, absolutely. Because you can uh, put your cell phone, wallets, and other stuff. Yes. So you can definitely just bring a hundred, one, one, one hundred, or fifty, one fifty peso. So it depends on the transportation that you'll be um, riding. 
So you or you really need to think how much should you your transportation would be. What would be the total cost of the transportation so that you would know uh, what small bills you would bring. Absolutely, and before leaving your house, going before going to the uh, store or mall, this list. is what we do. Yes. Uh, usually, or Filipinos have like um, a list what yes. to buy and have the uh, assumption or price assumption, so that you can just estimate the how much is the cost perhaps, and then you can bring that kind of budget. Well, yes. it really depends on you if you wanna like use your cards if you have. So then you can use your cards. Yes, but when it comes to here, you can you can definitely use your cards here because there there are uh, swipe machines in the counter area, but mostly there are instances that the swipe machine doesn't work. Correct. So much better to have a backup cash. or yes. a cash because uh, the machine doesn't work. Yes. And um, I think the amount of uh, the money that you should uh, bring is enough on the budget. Yeah, there is just a little, like maybe the total cost of your assumption is like 4000 You would bring 5000 just in case if you want to get or buy extras. So you, can, you need to have that backup all the time. And for coins... Um, is it nece necessary? Yes, it's necessary for you to bring one, like 10 peso or 5 peso or even this 1 peso, like 5, 1 peso. Yes, yes, you can use that, like what we mentioned uh, in our previous vlog and earlier, you can use that for transportation, especially uh, this is the problem because if you don't have uh, like coins in your pocket, so it's hard and yes. you can pay a large amount and because you don't have a choice some of us would really ask or the cashier the tricycle driver do you have one peso so that i can give you 50. yeah like something that. like that so that will be uh like common in the philippines so that's why some of you guys will just give let's say for example the the fare is only uh, uh, 10 peso and then you have you don't have uh, coins Yes. So, or small bills. So you don't have a choice to give the the bigger one. Yeah, you would just give the fifty peso. So, aside from that, if you just want to roam around, you want to go window shopping, and you just don't want to buy anything, yeah, one thousand peso is already enough. For uh, us. For yeah, us, for it us. It really depends on you guys. If yes. you, you want to to bring like three thousand peso, well. It, really depends on you because yeah. who knows or we do not know if you have something to buy you know? yes true because for us we prefer to like buy surplus or like just cheap products that we think that a thousand would be just enough for us to do window shopping yes and if we do window shopping me and Roger we don't really buy anything yeah speaking of surplus here in the Philippines there are like stores Yes. And it's really affordable and you can uh, see and definitely um, like came up, okay, I'm gonna buy this. Definitely. It's way, way better than like branded clothes here, I would say, because uh, the, the quality of the clothes is really nice. Absolutely. Yes. So for us, most Pinoy's would go with cheap surplus because they can buy more and the quality of the material itself is good it's durable yes and okay okay it's popular in the <laughs> philippines yeah okay okay is one of the most popular thing that me and roger mostly do if we have spare time <laughs> absolutely so um i think that would be all guys so thank you so much for watching till the end and see you in our next vlog bye, bye!